Hi traders, uh, Crispin here from FX Agro Trader. It's 13th of May 2019, 1657 GMT. So we've got a new product here called the FX Agro Trader Stochastic Crossover Alert System with Auto Trading. And what you can see here is essentially a high frequency kind of scalping system which I it can be used as a scalping system uh, as you'll soon see and we're running this on one minute charts uh, across three four five six seven eight currency pairs most of the majors in there and what I'm doing is essentially setting quite high stochastic trigger levels so I'm setting the upper trigger level at 80 and the lower trigger lev level at 20 and I'm, I've set the system up so that providing the stochastics cross over either above or below these levels it will trigger a trade and you can see here this is the interface we're using so just what if you just keep an eye on what's going on down here you'll notice positions opening and closing and what I'm doing is using 0.1 lots stop loss of 20 pips take profit of 60 pips max orders two concurrently uh, with an order interval of one minute between each order assuming entry the correct entry conditions exist uh, I'm using 2% max risk um, based upon 2% of my account equity not using a trailing stop but the interesting thing here is I'm using a fixed profit exit of two dollars including broker commission as well so if the so essentially what the system does it will factor in the broker commission and this broker commission here is based upon a round turn per lot so that means that if you're trading one lot uh, it would cost you ten dollars basically to essentially place both the trade and to also exit the trade because you'd pay commission in this case with FXCM on both sides of the trade i.e. when you open it and also when you close it so that figure is actually a little bit high in some cases because in this case it's insinuating that to place a 0.1 lot trade it will cost us a dollar in commission when whereas in actual reality it costs us 60 cents um, because it's 0.3 uh, or 30, 30 cents basically to open and 30 cents to close but I'm factoring in a little bit higher brokerage fee uh, or sorry commission fee just to give us a little bit more um, room for slippage so you can see here we've got this running on all the different charts I can control all of the stochastic controls down here we're looking for touch based crossover types um, I've suppressed my alert pop-ups because it drives you mad if you're running on a short-term time frame like this uh, but what we can do is with this system we can also back test it which is pretty cool so if I go into the MT4 strategy tester and I can run this EA using the same parameters as we saw before in the interface so uh, upper trigger level is 80 lower trigger level is 20 touch based trading is true direction long and short is fine we're not hedging that's false we're not using opposite exit crosses and we're not using any form of trailing stop in fact we are here let's just change that to zero so no trailing stop and we are using a fixed profit exit of three sorry two dollars and we use commission of ten no trend filtering going on and and if I then run that uh, from over April on the one minute time frame let's just see how that looks from a back testing perspective so not a bad little equity curve a little bit jagged got some drawdowns in there um, but if we look at the results of that poor modeling quality but to be honest I wouldn't worry one bit about modeling quality um, the modeling quality algorithm which MT4 uses or MetaTrader use is, is it was pretty meaningless to be honest with you but um, these statistics here short positions one 77% long positions one 78% um, 
and looking at our largest profit trade is four point seven dollars and largest loss trade is ten dollars just moving back to the main MT4 trade window and since we've just run a little back test which you can see the equity curve for down here the system has pushed in a little bit more uh, profit some more trades have closed with using our fixed price exit of two dollars so if we look through the account history here you can see that this trade that's just closed here for two dollars ninety three was a euro dollar trade and you can see if we ta we tie in the commissions on this um, trade order code ending 585 so yeah 30 cents so basically our our net profit on that is two dollars 93 minus 30 cents so sorry 60 cents um, so two dollars 33 profit and that should apply for all of these trades you see up here quite it's quite an interesting approach this it's not something I necessarily uh, like as in short term trading on very high or very noisy time frames you are going to hit your stop losses from time to time there's no doubt about it so you need lots of winners but it looks like we're going to get stopped out on our uh, cable yen position it's coming up against the stops pretty soon you can see that the stop loss column has gone red and uh, you know so be it you know we've we've made since we just started doing this uh, on this little account we're now five thousand and twenty four pounds positive and if we get stopped out on our on our cable yen trade we're gonna go down to five thousand and sixteen we just we just popped in a little bit more five thousand twenty six now so it's an interesting approach you know you can experiment with the system exactly how you want so if we look at the interface I've just lost it temporarily because the Sun is on my monitor there we go so yeah you've got a lot of controls that you can play with you can back test different scenarios and and I, I wouldn't necessarily read too much into the back testing it's a sanity checking approach the real test is, is on live data but at least having the ability to approximate your trading strategy using the back tester gives you a little bit of a sanity check and it gives you an idea of whether or not a system could be profitable there are lots of other factors in here which we can consider you know if you start using trailing stops you can obviously close up your stop losses and all that sort of stuff if you want to in actual fact I'm I need to reduce the stop loss to 10 pips uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna basically copy that across to all all the charts by simply clicking this copy profile to all time frame on all charts and that will ripple that through and if we then see any of these trades go into in fact we'd need to manually adjust the stop losses on these because reason being that they would have been set at the time of order open the interface can't retrospectively change things like stop loss and take profit orders once the trade is executed essentially the interface should be really seen as as a kind of a pre-trade control system of course the fixed profit exits they are applicable all the time and also your close logic so opposite exit crosses as, as you see opposite exit logic that runs actively even after the trade has been opened so something to be aware of it's a complicated system there's a lot going on here I, I can't really do it justice in one video so probably the best thing to do is watch some of the additional videos which will follow so that's just a quick overview of the system and you can see you know how you can use it in a relatively high frequency environment really exploiting the volatility in the market on the short time frames just to make a couple of dollars on a mini lot based trade so uh, I hope that was interesting. Thanks for watching.